Hello, I'm Carmen from the Featherweight Shop, and today I wanted to give you an update on the Superbelt. We've been testing the Superbelt here in the shop and on our own personal machines for about two years now, and it's been available on the market for about six months. And the reviews and feedback we are getting is really exciting. We are regularly getting emails and calls telling us how a machine that was once slow from a tired motor or a, or a stiff belt like, like this one here is now much faster and enjoyable to use after putting on the new super belt. The main reason for the increased speed is that these new belts are much softer so they don't bog down the motor when trying to turn the hand wheel as compared to, as compared to a stiff belt. Also, these new belts grip really, really well. And with many, many happy reports from those who once had to assist their hand wheel to get the machine going. One lady told me how she was, she was glad to finally be able to use both hands for sewing. Because previously, she always had to, she had to assist or to help the machine get going by turning it first with the hand wheel. And this is fairly common when a, when a motor is little on the weak side. Uh, before, you had to have the belt really, really loose in order to get any decent speed out of the machine. But the downside to having the belt so loose is that it would slip on the hand wheel each time you would go to start. And so, instead of having both hands down here on your fabric, you'd have to reach up here and start it like this to get it going. Kind of help it along. But now, the new super belt grips so well that it doesn't slip at all on the hand wheel. And it allows you to keep both hands on the fabric. So the gripping ability of the super belt is one of its best features. In fact, these belts grip so well that if a machine has a slight variation in the groove in the hand wheel, it may grip enough that the belt will potentially climb to one side. Well, I'll see if I can show you. Kind of like this. For most of you, you'll never see this. But for a few of you with those odd hand wheels, or we've even seen this on a few painted machines, where in the painting of the hand wheel, there's so many layers of paint on here that the groove has been narrowed ever so slightly. And because of this, I, I've seen the belt kind of climb a bit to one side. The good news is there's nothing wrong with the belt. But if this happens, there's a really simple remedy. And that is to just add a little belt dressing to the belt. Now the super belt already comes with belt dressing on it. But if it's been wiped off or if the, uh, if the hand wheel has some cleaner on it, you may need to add a little extra belt dressing again. Now you may be wondering, what is belt dressing and where do I get it? Well, there are many types of commercial belt dressings. And the good news is you most likely already have some in your home, in your kitchen actually. Just a teeny, tiny pinch and, and I mean really, really teeny, like barely any at all, of, of cornstarch on your belt, spread around, and that will reduce that friction and keep the belt from climbing in the hand wheel. Not enough that you even see any powder on the belt, but just a little bit, and you can even do this while it's on the machine. And again, for most of you, you'll never experience that. I have dozens of machines in the shop right now and I can't find even one where the belt will climb in the hand wheel. So you'll most likely never experience this. But if you do, I just wanted to tell you the quick remedy for it. We are so glad to finally have a replacement belt available in black or for your white featherweights that will allow these machines to operate smoothly and efficiently without that extra resistance wearing on the motor. So if you have a machine that's a little on the slow side, try out a super belt. I think you'll be surprised at the difference. And if you have any questions about the super belt or any other questions about featherweight machine servicing, we do try to cover most of the common issues in our free video tutorials. But you're always welcome to call the featherweight shop and talk to one of our techs as well. We're always glad to help. Thanks for watching.